The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com, and today we'll be going over the accommodations layout for a unique and capable cruiser, the MJM 40Z. The team at MJM tell me that they designed the 40Z for a cruising couple, but also to make allowances for the occasional overnight guests. Now let's take a look at the features down below, starting with the handrail, a nice storage shelf up above the galley. The galley itself, two burner electric stove. Instead of fiddles, they've got pop-up holders to hold your cookware in place. I don't usually make a big deal out of drawers, but in this case, we have a framed receiver, lockable drawers, pull it out, I notice a dovetail joinery, and all the wood is sealed against moisture. Refrigerated drawer and a freezer drawer with an ice maker that's tapped in to the purified water. There's plenty of counter space, microwave oven, and this storage, instead of going straight across like we've seen time and again, this goes very deep. So you can store quite a few things inside there. A pantry. You have deep storage in this clever storage pantry. The top shelf slides back to expose a second shelf, and it's also self-draining if you want to use it to store your dishes after washing. Single basin stainless steel sink, trash receptacle accessible from the stairs and underneath the sink. And here we go again, grab handle above the galley. This shelf goes nice and deep and the rail in front is also a handrail going all the way around the galley. Not only do we have two opening hatches, but six feet, four inches of overhead clearance. Now over to the starboard side, we've got the ship's electrical panel and stereo and a beautiful settee. And notice the sailboat heritage with the nice woodwork on the side bulkhead. Two opening port lights and a little storage shelf. Now the table is high-low, electrically actuated with this switch right here, so it can go down into typing position or turn it into a berth. And underneath the table, you've got storage shelves, and in the back of the shelves, 110 power, 12 volt power, and an MP3 jack. I like that these opening port lights have privacy shades that work even when the port light is in the open position. Now naturally there's storage underneath the seats as well as behind this seat. And if you want to turn this entire dinette into a berth, then there is a privacy curtain that goes into position with a privacy zipper. Now being able to close this berth off allows a cruising couple to utilize more of their boat instead of having a dedicated stateroom for the 10% of the time you have guests on board. In the deck, we have very roomy storage. I can't help but think that if you had plastic bins in here, it would really increase the utility of this storage compartment. In the closed position, take a look at this finish. I was really impressed with the bright work, but once I look closer at it, I notice it's not varnish, it's clear all grip, much more durable than varnish. A second sole storage compartment is deep enough to hold your carry-on luggage. There's a full-length mirror on the door over to the starboard side, closes off to provide privacy to the master stateroom, and notice this recessed area is only built to accommodate this door in the open position. To the port hand side is a door to the head so it can be accessed as a day head or a private ensuite head for the forward stateroom. Now in the forward stateroom, the only stateroom by the way, there's a couple of things I want to point out. First, an island queen berth. Six feet eight inches by six feet six inches. And I'm gonna lay down in the berth to show you something. When you're in the flying position, you'll notice it's wider up at the head of the bed where you need it to be, where your arms are. You don't need it to be wide where your feet are. Look at this shelf up above. Beautiful joinery work, and again, it's a handrail because to get yourself out of the berth, you're going to grab on this and pull yourself out. But more importantly, not only is there a hatch in the center of the deck at the foot of the berth, but there's another one at the head of the berth. So while I'm sitting in this position, I'm looking out the hatch and I'm looking at a beautiful starry night. Keep in mind that this is a cruising couple's boat. When you're at anchor, you need to check on the ground tackle in the middle of the night. All you need to do is open this hatch. I can easily come out the hatch, check on the ground tackle, make any adjustments I need without ever having to leave the cabin. Really nice feature, two 12 volt fans in the corners, LED lights, book racks, and easy access to the anchor road. And I do like how this compartment is finished off on the inside. Over to the port hand side, hanging locker and private access to the ensuite head. Over to the starboard side, 
a separate shower. So now two people can get ready for a night on the town at the same time. But what if two people want to take a shower at the same time? I did notice that the main head has a pull-out nozzle, so you can shower in here. There is a deck drain. To the starboard side, down below, storage, storage up above. There's an option for putting a second TV in this position. So that's our look at this very capable cruising boat. As you can see, she easily accommodates a cruising couple, but can accommodate four or six quite nicely. It all comes together in the MJM-40Z. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.